My name is Haruto Shiratori. On the day of the wedding, I was experiencing a despair I'd never experienced before. Why hasn't mommy arrived yet? I can't reach her at all. Maybe something happened on the way? Shall we look for her? Come to think of it, her coder hasn't arrived yet either. What is he doing when we need help? I don't think we need to look for him. I got a message from mommy and from Koda. I can no longer get married. I want to live my life with Koda from now on. I'm sorry. What's going on? My fiancé, who stood me up at the wedding, apparently eloped with a man I know very well. The man I know so well is my own brother. Uh, I don't understand. It's not like someone is forcing her to get married. If she loved someone, she should have told me before. Arado, you knew? Of course not. I didn't know. I didn't know either. I thought she liked Harutakun. The ceremony is cancelled. I'm gonna explain the situation to all the invited guests and ask them to have a normal dinner since we're here. I'll have to return the congratulatory gifts too. It was a very sad day. Mommy said she wanted to become a housewife after marriage and resigned one month before the ceremony. But we were, but we were originally colleagues from the same office. So naturally, I invited people from work. And just imagining going to work on Monday depresses me. Mommy's parents apologized profusely and said they would pay for the entire wedding. But I couldn't ask them to take all the responsibility if the person she eloped with was my brother. We agreed that both families would pay for the ceremony on a 50-50 basis and that Mommy and Koda would be made to take responsibility as soon as they were found. I'm going home first then. Are you okay? Why don't you come to our house? It must be hard. Don't worry, I'm not gonna let something like this drive me crazy. I don't want people to worry about me right now. Ugh. <laughs> hmm? Crying? Where's that coming from? I looked for the voice and there it was. Oh, um, is something wrong? My marriage partner didn't show up. What? Is this wedding hall cursed? What? Cursed? I mean, I was supposed to get married today, too. But my wedding partner eloped with my brother, so the ceremony was cancelled. What? Your partner didn't show up either? What? So what did you do about the people who came to the wedding? I explained the situation, returned the congratulatory gifts, and had them have a normal dinner party. I didn't want to waste the food, but I don't feel like participating. So I'm going home. I... I see... I guess I should do that and go home, too. Then let's go to karaoke afterwards. I don't feel like going back to the room I used to live with my ex-fiance, and more than anything, I feel like screaming. I think you're the only one who can understand what I'm feeling right now, so how about joining me? I'm coming. Will you wait for me? Okay. I'll wait for you at the cafe in front of the wedding venue. Since you have to change, return the congratulatory gifts and apologize to the other parents and all that. Yes, I'm getting fired up. I'll go clean up. What's your name? My name is Haruto Shiratori. Shiratori-kun, I'm Marina Mugino. I don't know how long it'll take, but please wait for me. Afterwards, I waited for her at the cafe as promised. Mugino-san, who had finished dressing and cleaning up, arrived. Two hours later... Thank you for waiting. Shall we go? Oh, um, I might sing a song about wishing the world's destruction today. Is that okay? Sure. I've been making a list of songs I can shout while waiting for you. So we went to the karaoke room and we cried and sang. And five hours later, a friendship was born. What? You already registered the marriage? Yes. We registered our marriage yesterday. What the hell is he thinking? Maybe a sudden change of heart. In my case, I'm thinking they all got excited about naughty love and got themselves fired up. Oh, that's possible. It could be a possibility for my case, too. They don't think about the trouble they might cause other people. They seem to think that their life is dramatic and romantic. Uh, am I supposed to go to work on Monday? I know. They'll definitely feel sorry for us. It pains me for people to feel sorry for me right now. It's so depressing to think that everyone is going to treat me like I'm a tumor. Yeah. 
Hey, Shiratori-kun, let's exchange contact information. Let me complain to you when I have a hard time at work. Of course, I'll listen to your complaints, too. Oh, I like that. But first, let's meet after work on Monday. Monday's gonna be a tough day for us, so... Sure. Let's meet at my favorite pub. I'll send you a message later with the location. We exchanged contact information in parted ways. The feeling of having a friend was a big relief for me. Monday. Um, Shiratori? Good morning. I'm sorry about what happened on Saturday. No, 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 it's okay. More importantly, are you eating? Are you sleeping? Are you fine? Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you're doing better than I thought you would. Sure enough, when I went to work the next week, people were worried about me. Even people I hadn't invited to the ceremony had heard about me. I could hear people speculating about why my fiancé had betrayed me. I was honestly having a hard time, but I feel a little better now that I have something to talk about with Magino-san. That's crazy how people are speculating about the cause of your fiancé's betrayal. Why are they assuming shiratori Khan is the cause? I like to know what I did to deserve this. <laughs> I was told that too. Maybe you put pressure on him before marriage that made him want to run away? What do you mean? Wow, how insensitive. The more pressure they're under, the more they'll blame others and get away with it. Right. I'm glad you're here, shiratori Khan. It's hard to be petty. But it's also annoying not to be cared for, so I've been emotionally unstable. I know, I know it's all in the mind of the receiver, but it's hard no matter what they say. Hey, can I talk to you again sometime? I'd really appreciate it too. We met a few times after that to drink and complain. The heartbreak was hard to take, but we were able to go on with our lives. I think we were saved by each other's presence. Two months later, Mommy and Kodo were found by good conscience. You need to pay for the wedding. And you need to pay Haruto's alimony. You're going to pay back everything we put up. Kodo, you too. I won't tolerate this kind of dishonesty just because you're family. Both of you apologize to Haruto properly. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I won't forgive you. Did these two think I would forgive them if they apologized? After causing so much trouble for so many people? After that, the two of them began a hard life in an old apartment while paying off their debt. However, one day, Mommy suddenly came to my house as if life was too hard. She even went to the trouble of finding the place I moved to. I still love you. I'll break up with your brother, so please, give me another chance. When your parents took you back, did you not hear me say I'd never forgive you? I know you're angry. But I'll do my best to make you believe in me again, Haruto. I know there are times when circumstances can lead to betrayal. But how can someone who runs away be someone worth trusting in the future? I'm sorry, but I don't care about you anymore. If anything, I don't like you. If you even feel a little bit sorry for me, then pay your parents back the money as soon as you can. And don't ever show your face in front of me again. The next day after work, I invited Magino-san to the batting center. Of course, I did it to complain about Mommy's advances. Why does she think we can get back together? Seriously? I mean, can you hear me out? My boyfriend came home yesterday and said he wants to get back together with me. And his reasons were so pathetic. He said he was going to marry a new woman, but he had his wedding blues and ran away. Oh, so you're going to start over? <laughs> no way. I told him to write the divorce papers and told him. Don't ever show your face again. His parents paid for the entire wedding and sold their house to pay me alimony. And when I got home, he was crying that he'd been disowned. <laughs> like I care. Uh, I see. Oh, I might be a little relieved. Uh, I'll never get married again. I mean, I don't think I could even if I wanted to. And it's too much trouble to explain why I'm divorced. You didn't even have a marriage life. Right? I didn't even get to experience marriage, and now I'm divorced. It's almost funny. I understand you, makino san Thanks. After that, our relationship continued for two years. I think the person of the opposite sex I spent the most time with was makino san And for makino san it was me. At first, we were just two people who became friends because of the same tragic event. But there were many occasions when I felt comfortable with her. Hey, makino san 
You used to say you'd never get married again. Do you still think that? Uh, I don't know. I might consider it if someone could reassure me enough that I wouldn't have to relive those feelings of insecurity. Not even if it's me? I was gradually falling in love with Magino-san. I'll wait until the wounds heal. I'll wait forever. So, if you think I'm trustworthy, please think about it. Uh, I've been trusting Shiratori-kun for two years now. Could you get married to me then? Uh, are you fine with a woman whose groom ran away from her on the day of the wedding? And we got married. We've already been together through thick and thin. There are no worries. We can laugh and talk about that day too. They shared the worst pain together. Maybe there is nothing to be afraid of. I think these two will be able to build many happy memories together. Because they both know the pains of being betrayed. How did you guys enjoy today's story? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you guys next time. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.